не так давно. Not so long ago in War Thunder, we finally released the long-awaited Ground Warfare. Players can now not only fly warplanes, but also drive real tanks. We decided to act not only in cyberspace, but also in real life by restoring a real Soviet T-44 tank. The T-44 is a tank which was supposed to replace the Soviet Army's primary tank, the T-34. It was developed in the middle of the 40s and went into batch production in 1944, but it never quite made it to the front. In fact, the T-44 became an intermediary step to more complete and powerful tanks, such as the T-54 and the T-55. For the first time, we're taking a vehicle for restoration right out of the depot's stock, which is intended for spare parts. All the work on the interior and exterior will have to be done from scratch. And as for the engine, we'll see. The vehicle's restoration will be done in several stages. The first stage is an external inspection. As we can see, the engine transmission compartment I'm sitting on should have a radiator in it. Even the bolts to fasten it on have been ripped out. The sleeve is unfit for use. It was simply cut with a knife. The left side track shoulder and the exhaust casing has undergone massive deformation. The turret is missing the gunner's and loader's observation equipment. The A3 communication device is still intact. This is the actuator for the heater. Previously, heaters were made so that the handle was placed in the pump while the tank driver or one of the crew members turned it, and the pump delivered fuel to the heater's boiler through an injector. Oh, wow! The turret still turns! It's clear there's a lot of work to be done. Painstaking work requiring a lot of effort, but I think we can handle it. With the help of our friends at Gaijin Entertainment, we're making a fully functional vehicle that will be used at our museum constantly. Practically all our vehicles are reconstructions, and almost all the work is carried out in the museum. This is history. This must be done. We've made the decision to independently put this tank into action right here, in these conditions, and we're already getting started with its exterior. It's just great to see a tank that isn't sitting still in a warehouse or on a pedestal somewhere, but is a real military vehicle instead, which can move and turn its turret. It gives you an entirely different feeling. We'll see its first steps, see how the tank transforms, and see its revival. Follow the fate of this tank, play War Thunder, and see you next time!